All right. Well, it's been a few days since I last touched this. Uh, I've ordered a bunch of things. And I'm just gonna lay stuff out. So, yeah. Welcome to the stream, if you're watching this later as well. Thanks for clicking. Uh, Alright. It's a bit warm here today, so... I'm just gonna try and remain cool. Alright. I have a bunch of stuff to get out of here. There's also a few things I did off-stream. Primarily buying things, but also... I did, um... Because it appears at a weird hour. Get the stick bug thing. So that's been acquired. Been a piling on the yoga mats again. But then also, I did find a cool item that I decided to collect more of. So I'll probably do something with that today. Yeah, my store was selling the plant partition, so I was pretty happy to get that one. This is like three days worth of stuff. I ordered books just in case I get the recipe to make the larger bookshelf. I did check. Um, happy home. Can't get the larger one, so kind of unfortunate. But at the very least, I'm prepared. So then, hey. It'll be there. If I do find it. Oh, okay. Alright, anyway. Minor things I've done. Excellent. <laughs> Even more. Yeah, that's grown, because I got someone to water. No. 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 Let's go away. Go away. <laughs> Not, not even five minutes into this and they're already asking for my stuff. Nope. I mean, adorable, but no. Every time I get scammed. Okay, uh, let me... Hold on. I'm gonna check the paintings first. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, do some warrior later, so I'll make an effort to get through this as quick as possible. Um, and later on, there's like two things going on. There's a Nintendo Direct, which is just like a partner showcase. They might show something that I might be interested in. Um, I have to check what time it is at, so maybe I'll check it out live. Um, but also Elden Ring's DLC got announced today, so they're gonna show that off, um, today as well, I think, just after the Direct, if I'm not mistaken. Unrelated, but, you know, coincidentally, the timing seems to be after the Nintendo Direct, which I don't think is a coincidence. They probably didn't want to, um... Hold on. <laughs> Can I not walk in? I put this in the way. I put this here. There we go. All right, sign. I put that there so it was just ready to go, but I did not consider that it was uh, blocking my path. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if these are legit. I just bought them. So it doesn't really matter because you don't get any info on them. So let's just do that. Oh, one of them was real. Okay. Which one was the real one? Hang on, I'll go see. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, cool. I did know that one was real. Oh wait, it does- yo, it does teach you about it. What can't- what? Why can't it- that is weird. I wonder why they didn't get bladders to give you this information. Huh. I thought that it would just show this, but nothing else, but it actually does tell you about it. Yeah, that just makes it stranger. Huh. Should probably learn the name of some of those paintings instead of calling them by, by like, random names. Alright, anyway. I'll sell these recipes and then donate what's over there. There's nothing interesting here. There is uh, also some recipes that I got <laughs> that I, uh, I'm going to make. But more on that later. All right, get these two out of the way. It's just that I didn't have to worry about it here. I was also grinding Nook Mile sooner. There was that. Okay, uh, let's do this one first. Yes. The walking stick looks just like a twig, does it not? Pooh. It even has nuts like a real twig would. These bashful bugs mimic plants in this way to hide from predators. A noble goal, you might say. But though the deceptive wretches fool some, they do not fool me. I see these bugs for what they are. Monsters, plain and simple. I say, did you know that walking sticks can grow to be two feet long? Imagine running into one. I surely would faint. Okay. This one. The ray is an unusually shaped fish with a flat body and long tail, somewhat related to sharks. Seen from the bottom, the mouth on its stomach appears to be smiling, which is objectively adorable. But be cautious, unlike most cute animals, some rays are extremely venomous. Beware the smile. Alright. Now I register song. Should also get changed. Hang on. Before I forget. <laughs> Wrestling single up. I 
I mean, I don't know if any other stuff is unique. Probably not. See what I can store and then I'll get more stuff out of the mailbox because there's a bunch of stuff still there. Let me see. Hey, Scoot. Uh, pants? Oh, right. That, I remember what the fence is. Books can all go away. Okay. I should be able to get the rest out now. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I'm going to do. But so I kind of decided that um, I'm going to just use blue roses everywhere. If I work that damn hard for all those roses, I'm going to put them everywhere. <laughs> Along with these and these. It's just, I think I'm just going to use these as decorative pretty much everywhere around the island, and then, I guess, specific places will have different arrangements. That's... I'm surprised how quickly the green mums grow, given how difficult they are to get. These ones didn't really grow too much, but when someone waters them, it makes all the difference in the world. It just, it really does. It's just... I think if I would have done this back in 2020, when there were plenty of people playing... <laughs> probably could have had people watering my my plants and this would have been done sooner hang on excuse me scoot forgot to do one thing okay That, I guess, is a gift, so I can put it away. The skull door plate. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, I got the parabolic antenna. I'm going to put that behind uh, my house. Uh, I guess I have to go to halves first because I don't really have space.
I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> it's gonna take a few minutes to get everything customized. All right. Mm, okay. I mean, the statue's nice to have around, so. The other one I know is not legit. And I have the authentic one anyway. Okay, that's done. May as well get this while I'm here. I might move stuff, so that's why. If I get the health one, that'll be good. Ah, oh, crap. I mean, it, it is the, <laughs> it is the health one, but the bad one. Oh, well. Who knows, I might get another gold turtle. Go for it. Take a while. Uh, actually, does this come? I mean, sure. It would be nice if you could put your own logo on it. Where's the other one? I think there's one more. I got like a spare. Now for the yoga mats, so yeah, well. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Uh, 
All right. But it will be worth it. Oh, it doesn't remember the design. I have to. Oh. Okay. Oh. I didn't order yoga mats every day. One thing I'm hoping on is Red appears and is just selling yoga mats inside the boat, because that would be amazing. Then I could buy as many as I want. did get these. Ooh, wow. These are very versatile. Very cool. I may have to think about this. I'll get some. I'm gonna order more of these. Like, these are cool. Definitely do some neat stuff with this. Costing like a thousand a pop. Well, I'm definitely going to order more of those plant partitions. I, it may look like I have a lot of them, but I'm probably going to use them all. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get that there's no easy way to do this on bulk. I wish that he'd just ask, hey, you want an another item customized instead of having to start the conversation again. That's probably the only way they could make it a little bit smoother. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and I got these as well. Uh, I'm gonna get this. The ramen food truck. Karaoke, cafe, diner, books, coffee. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I had more, uh, more slots. <laughs> Should get one for Scoots Gym. I might do that. I think I have an idea. Just some little detailing that I could do. I might need a few more of them, but there's, there's an idea I have. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll get another one of these. These things are so versatile. I will definitely need a lot more of them. Oh, shit, I have another one. Cool. Uh, I mean, so I can order any type. I'm just going to get this. Piano bench is fine. Okay, I got these for the museum. Oh, wow, I'm out of money. <laughs> Just a sec. Okay. 
ました。These are expensive to modify, jeez. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, so hang on. Okay, there is an item I can put away. That, and that. Although, I guess I did get the three, so then it would line up, but we'll see. Alright. Pretty much just gonna be to purchase yoga mats. <laughs> Unless there's something else interesting there. Alright. It's just gonna be a quick lap. Get the recipes, buy my mats, and then done. Hey, chicken nugget, how's it going? Oh, I already got this. Um, alright. it'll have something new. Okay. Chicken. I guess I do. Alright. Mm, got an old cash or stuff. How much is it? I mean, maybe as an option. I've already got the stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. Bad exchange rate. Uh, I'm just gonna do the thing. Hey, Kia, how's it going? Alright. I'm gonna look crazy buying this many. But I promise it's for a good reason. Uh... I'm doing work on my island, so I'm just gonna do that for the time being. But you're welcome to hang out and watch me build stuff. I got big plans! Okay. 
<laughs> Do I like nuggets? Hell yeah. Like some of my favorite foods. All right. So, where do I start? Hang on, just, just thinking how I'm gonna play this out. Oh, I can't put it away. Never mind. Come back to it. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> it's lagging again. Alright. the wrong way. Uh, uh, I guess I gotta dig that up. What's the game? Uh, it's Animal Crossing. It's just a game where you do a bunch of little tasks to pay off your home. But then you can also decorate stuff if you want. And people just collect their favorite villages. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right. <laughs> yoga mat, yoga mat, yoga mat. All right. I got confused for a sec. Go. I did this wrong, didn't I? Yeah, it's off by half. All right, hold on. I wanted to overlap, so. At least I got it right now. There. This is looking like how I thought it would. There we go. Okay, so now I'm swapping this. Uh, where is it? This thing. room, don't like. Okay. Um, another one here. the gyroid. There we go. Yeah, nice. Okay, so the other thing I was gonna do... I was gonna add more detailing to this area, so... Let's 
fave dipping for nuggets. Uh, here in Australia, they did this wasabi mayo for a while. It's pretty good. Spicy stuff. Okay. You had that too, you have wasabi mayo as well. Yeah, wasabi mayo is awesome. How's it going, Garner? A blight. Whoa, game. What is going on? Wait, which one? This is the black. What was it the concrete one? I want the concrete one. That looks. I, I can't tell. <laughs> that looks like concrete. Okay. They also did this, um... Uh, McDonald's did, like, this Outback barbecue sauce for a while. But they don't do it anymore, and that was legit. Yeah, it's not liking how many items I have here. It's fine. Hey, Mr. Sam, what's up? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, just... Tell you more barbecue sauce. You never tried the McDonald's, um, barbecue sauce? The one that- it was, like, very limited. It was at the end of last year. They had that and wasabi mayo. So, ah, that's a little more detail, that's just, without using the fencing repeatedly. Haven't had Maccas in years, ah, that explains it. For me it was like a late night thing, and I was like, wait, what is the sauce they have? Okay, so I have some electric signs to go put out. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with this. Like, this came out the way I thought it would. I think there's one more that I got. Found a mustard. That's pretty classic. Okay, uh, where am I gonna put the sign? Because I did get this right. Does this look so bad? <laughs> yeah. Most people aren't gonna be Australian. That's like, I can count the number of Australians that turn up on a regular basis on one hand. <laughs> but yeah, we call McDonald's Maccas. <laughs> it's just our thing. We only do it to McDonald's, I don't think we shorten it anything else, for some reason. We don't do it to everything, it's selective. I'm so much happier with this rework of this area. 
looking at it again. It's just I made the right choice, clearly. That's cool. It's kind of annoying, because <laughs> sometimes we're pretty consistent with it in how we do it, and then other times it's just like, how do they come up with this slang, honestly? Um, a tuned strapazoid. Nah, just kidding. Just a phone. <laughs> it's just a phone. Alright. Uh, I have yoga mats that I'll probably place later. The other thing I wanted to do, because I got this plant partition thing. Which, really, really good item. I'm gonna use it more here. Vary this up. Yeah, it's a very Australian thing, is just to lie foreigners about, like, <laughs> just that sort of thing. I'm gonna see how this looks, and then I'll, I'll commit to it. I might just do it. I think it'll work well. I just need a lot of them. What is going on? Vertical. That's the wrong one. Hold on. The wrong one. There we go. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. And then if I get multiple of these, it should look fine. I think I can even do this, right? Yeah, I can make him sit more flush with this, but then it uh, doesn't let me walk through it. Alright, that's fine. That's going to be a... a uh, work in progress. on your land for the cows to have more grass. Oh, cool. I'm just caught in port here. <laughs> I'm like, second guessing myself a little. No, you know what? Hold on. If I had one more, I'd be able to decide how do they look. I mean, okay, that does look pretty seamless. That does look pretty seamless. Yeah, cool. Alright. I was just worried that it might be obvious that there's something there. Uh, put this back. I swear I could. <laughs> I didn't do the thing. I guess while I'm here, I'm gonna check Audi. More cow, cow time for you. What do you do with the cows? Just hang out? I, 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 that might sound like a dumb question, but I genuinely don't know. 
What does one do during cow time? Parabolic antenna. You hang out, and if they come to you, you pet them. Okay, the petting would be cool. They do look very fluffy. There we go. I don't know if they still like do this. <laughs> I think I've seen places with dishes, but not, like, to this extent. I guess if you're on a remote island, this would make more sense. Dude. You were, you were just there. You were just there! <laughs> what do you mean, doesn't fit? But, but this... Okay. There we go. I'm gonna have to order more of these. Um, they do look cool. I had an idea for scoots, but this. All right, let me see if I can make the idea. But like, I want Scoot to be like an entrepreneur. So what I'm gonna do? I'm pretty sure this is a recipe. You haven't met the new ones yet? Ah, oh, okay. Are they pretty friendly or does it take a while to get used to them? The only memories I have of, of meeting animals like cows is like when I was a kid, so it's my frame of reference might be skewed as like... I mean, I had a childhood friend that did his parents did have a farm, and I did go there a couple times, but I don't remember too much of it. to take the clothes out of the dryer. You're using the dryer? Oh, but I guess... Wait, isn't... Aren't there floods over there? In New South Wales? I'm just thinking it's, it's here like it is today. Because I did laundry and it just put it out to dry. It's warm outside, so just easy. You always use the dryer? Man. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess I don't have room for one a small apartment, but also just growing up just didn't have that. Uh, where is it? There's, a, there's like a roads... I don't know if it was this one. Yeah, this thing, the signpost. This is what I want. Ugh, softwood, then hardwood. Okay. Hardwood and softwood. I can't put it on top of the washing machine. Uh, I have a top loader, so no. I'm not gonna buy like a whole new washing machine. Just for just for something where I can just go put the clothes outside and they'll dry. Mm -hmm. 
do people do this all the time outside? Man, <laughs> that's like a sheltered existence. I have, I have, all right. I have only used a dryer once in my life. Would you believe it? Just once. I don't know, it dries outside. It's just, uh, I guess it's just habit. But also, when it came to like my purchases as, as an adult, um, I didn't prioritize a lot of things that I should have. <laughs> like, uh, a new bed, for example, or a comfortable chair. Or a, a proper desk for my computer stuff. It's not like I work with computers. <laughs> Advertising for scoots. Go to Scoot's gym, get swole. I might get another one and put it at the campsite. I'll just strategically place it. I might put one here. Just leading to Scoot's gym. You're not waiting 10 hours for close to dry. Why do you... Okay, why do you need to wait for the clothes? Like, if I'm doing laundry, I have other clothes. It's not... Alright, I don't do laundry when I need the clothes clean and then need to wear them again, you know? It's like, I'll do the laundry and then I have other clothes to wear in the meantime. I'm not waiting for clothes ever. I don't think I've, I've had that problem where I'm like, shit, I wish... I wish that laundry I put outside was ready. I think I got all the ramens now. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. Don't make fun of you. I, I can make fun of you because you're complaining about using a dryer. Meanwhile, I'm over here just like, uh-huh, yep, yeah, mm -hmm, as I'm hanging my shit outside. And have been doing so since about, like, the age of seven. You see my favorite villager? I like Scoot. Uh, it's Alice and Scoot are the two. Complaining about people hanging out doors like farmers. Yeah, well, I guess I'm a farmer, and so are like a large percentage of people that live in apartment buildings. You got us. This is just like the time where we were talking about TVs growing up, and I was like, I had a tiny TV. And just the shock of having a TV smaller than 30 centimeters was like just unheard of. I forgot how. It, the TV I had in my bedroom with my brother was tiny. <laughs> tiny. And even the one in the living room was not that big either. Didn't have air conditioning, hung laundry out to dry outside, had a TV smaller than 30 centimeters. Different upbringings. Colton is the cutest. No. <laughs> I refuse to acknowledge that after everything Colton's done to me in New Leaf. I'm going to the Daily Island. 
I don't think I know who Olivia the villager is. I'll have to look it up. Hey, Star, thanks for the raid. How's it going? How's things? Okay, there we go. You did too, but when you grew up, you couldn't wait to buy a big TV and a dryer. I see, I I guess I just kind of saw a dryer as unnecessary. That's just because most of my life didn't need one. And when I moved out of home, money was limited. So I was like, okay, do I really need a dryer? Not really. And though now I could certainly afford one, it would involve replacing the top loader with a front loader. Which, nah, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. She's a cat? Okay. Yeah, just had a look. Now I know who you're talking about. You can't imagine not having a dryer. Man. A am I just the weird one here? Like, is, is this just a case of me being the strange one, the odd one out? Just like, what? Will still hangs his clothes outside? I mean, it's not. I don't know. It's this. It's what I was saying is like I, I can't think of a scenario where I would want the clothes dry immediately. I just I haven't run into that problem where I'm like, crap. You know what? I really wish this washing that I just finished would be dry in the next hour. I just don't have that problem. I just go put on some other clothes. It's like, what do you mean? It's not like it saves effort either. You have to load it in and then you have to take it out. I mean, I guess hanging clothing is a bit more of an effort. I'll give you that. But is it really that much more effort? You live in an apartment and have nowhere to put your clothes to hang to dry. Okay. Fair enough. I live in, a, in an apartment and I don't have room to buy a dryer, but I do have... A balcony that I can uh, put like a you know drying rack out there. <laughs> you live as a nudist until your clothes dry. How do I dry bed sheets? They just dry outside. They just dry outside. Like, there's no difference. It might take a while, but they dry. I mean, how do I how do I dry bed sheets the same way people dried bed sheets before dryers became predominant? <laughs> That's there's there's a way. You're in Sydney. It'll go from sun to rain, and the bird will shit on it. I'm in Melbourne. It goes to rain faster than what it does in Sydney. Are you kidding? That's the one thing Sydney makes fun of Melburnians for, is just the shit weather. If I lived in Queensland, you might... You might have a one-up on me there, but... Melbourne's more erratic. Your weather's just as bad now. Oh, it can get just as bad. I'm just saying, on average, Melbourne's weather is more rainy. I'm not saying Sydney can't get that way. I'm just saying, on average, we, uh, yeah, we hit that sooner and more often. Don't they get all wrinkly? But you just iron them out. It's... I don't know, man. I, I guess because I've been doing this since I was a, a kid, 
And so it's just me doing what I did to help my mum out growing out, growing up. So there's a way. <laughs> there's always has been a way. I mean, if I get a larger place, sure, I, I can think about a dryer then. But I think right now it's more of a case that I have to replace the washing machine if I want to go down that path. And that's, while I could do it, it's just annoying. Because I have to get rid of this washing machine, then put the new one in, and then put the dryer on top. It's like a, an extra hassle. If it was just a matter of getting the dryer and just putting it next to the washing machine, hey, no problem. Would definitely consider it more. you're afraid of falling into a top loader? What? How are you loading your laundry? Or are you just short? Yeah, washing machine is what we're talking about. short for that okay yeah i mean i'm i'm tall so I, I don't have that problem it's definitely gonna be it, i i see this now as like this is going to be one of these things where i'm the weird one I don't know, I guess it's, it's just something from the upbringing that I just can't shake off. It's just, you know, it's never occurred to me to go out and buy a dryer because I just, my rationale is just like, well, I've just been doing what I've done as a kid. Just go hang it out to dry outside. And the, the thought of like the alternative of buying a convenience just hasn't crossed my mind. It's like fabric softener. Like, you think I'm going to go use fabric softener? It's funny because um, some of the companies behind Fabric Softener, I remember reading that they were blaming millennials for the dip in sales in Fabric Softeners. Ah yes, one more thing to blame the younger generation. Just you kids not buying comforts like Fabric Softener. Yeah. You don't use softener? I think a lot of us don't. Like, fabric softener appears to be a boomer thing. I'm sure there are some people that aren't boomers that use it, but it's definitely not the norm. It's always our fault. Ah. Yeah. Damn you kids, if you would just stop buying breakfast with avocado toast you might be able to afford fabric softener. How dare you purchase luxurious items that you don't need. Now go buy some fabric softener. really liking this rework of the museum, by the way. It's just like, looks much more museum-like. Like, 
There's a couple of other things I'm thinking of doing, but... What about a dishwasher? I have a dishwasher. Like, it... Dishwashers are in apartments, so... But if I wasn't in an apartment and, like, was getting a, a place for me, I would definitely get a dishwasher. That is definitely a convenience that, um, whilst growing up, it wasn't a thing. It became a thing eventually. No one wants to wash dishes. Coffee machine? Nah, coffee machine... I can go without. The other stuff I would like is just I have a tiny ass kitchen. Not many cupboards. I don't I don't have places to place the stuff. You have a dishwasher, but you hand wash all your dishes. Okay. Why why is that? Just out of curiosity. Just the dishwasher doesn't do a good job. I find that sometimes that I have to like give it a once-over on certain things. Oh, because you live alone and there's only ever a few things to wash per day. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like... Especially if the dishwasher doesn't have, like, an eco mode and tries to save water. That's probably a wise choice. I mean, I do want to get better cookware and stuff. I do. It's just there's no there's no room for it. <laughs> I can get a couple of things and then it's like, well, I don't have cupboards to put them in. It's like, that's it. Cupboards would be full. Oh yeah, I have another plant partition. Right, so what I wanted to do here... It's not that I don't like the lights, it's more just to give this more balance, right? Yep, that's what we want. And then I'll get another one here. I mean, I already have it. I just need to go get it customized to brick again, which I can do. I'll do that, and I'll put it here, and then that'll look good. Your dishwasher is old, costs a hundred dollars to run it four times. Oh yeah, nah, fuck that. You you are right. <laughs> oh shit. When I moved into this place, the dishwasher that was in here was a bit older. Not super old, but old. And so, the landlord replaced it as soon as I got here with a new one that has automatic settings. You just push a button and it just goes and adjusts itself accordingly based on how much you've loaded in. It's, it's great. Okay. Yeah, on my radar, I want, like, good set of knives and just more stuff to be able to cook with, but it's just... I think I may have to resort to just shelving units that I kind of just place along the walls and then just have stuff kind of sit outside that doesn't look too messy. Because that's the one annoying thing about a lot of apartments these days, is just they don't put cupboards in the apartment, and a lot of the time it's just super condensed, and they just don't think about storage at all. The funniest, the funniest thing to me is... So as you, in the last apartment that I was in, so you enter, 
And, um... The fridge... Is on the left as you enter. So, you know, you have the door, you open the door. And then, along the left, there's the wall. And then, they have a hole for the fridge. So, pretty compact. But the dumb thing about the previous place was... The light switch to turn on the uh, the lights to the initial room in the apartment um, was inside this gap where the fridge goes. And the gap is just too damn small, so like, the fridge covers up the light switch, basically. So, initially I had to open the fridge door to turn on the lights, until I eventually got some smart lights and just put two lamps <laughs> in the room, so then... I'm just turning on the lamps with my phone, but it was so fucking annoying. And this is the sort of things that apartments that I've lived in have. It's just like design flaws, no storage, things are like super compact and condensed. This place has some of that going on, but at least the rooms are smart. They're not, they're not uh, compact and dumb. Like at least in here I have room. It's just more outside in the kitchen, it's just, it's, it's tiny. But I'm happy that the bedroom and the study are, like, decent. It's, you know, I got space. <laughs> Unlike before, I would move my chair back a bit and then it would hit a wall. I have quite a bit of wiggle room here now. And the bedroom just basically fit the bed and the chest of drawers and that was it. That sounds like modern housing in general, not just apartments. Yeah, I mean... Modern housing for sure is a lot smaller than it used to be. But I guess that problem is more compounded in an apartment because they're just trying to squeeze as many apartments as they can into one dense area. detail. So the decision I made was like to just have a consistent set of flowers everywhere. So in other words, the only flowers I'm going to have on this island are going to, well, on the nature parts of the island, not like parks or whatever, is going to be three flowers. And it's going to be the three flowers that took me the longest to get, so it's just, at least in the end, I don't know if it's completely worthwhile, but I can say that I used them. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Ins insanity that it just took that long to get this dumb color. So I'm damn well gonna use it. Uh, but yeah, that'll involve some changes around the place, but... It sounds like my place is new built near the city. My place is in the city. Because I want it to be close to work. I mean, that's less the case now, but it's also nice to just be close to everything. Instead of... <sighs> yeah, I mean... Suburbia sucks. <laughs> when I have to go visit my parents out in the suburbs... I don't understand how it's just so horrible out there traffic-wise, it's just, there's less traffic in the inner city now. I mean, before I moved out here, it was just like, 
one road for multiple suburbs to kind of head towards the city. And just to even get to the ramp of that road, would a drive that without traffic would take five minutes becomes 40 minutes to an hour when in traffic. I just... I just couldn't do it anymore and did the math one day with a friend because we both lived out there. There was one day where it took four hours one way to get to work and then two hours the way back. So it was like about six hours combined. So we did the math of how much extra time we spend traveling going from work. And it came out to be like in a year, we were spending about two months worth of full-time work just traveling to work. And yeah, that, after that conversation, <laughs> made plans to get out of there. It's just... I like the idea of being out there. Houses are bigger. You got more space for sure, but... There's just too many people out there. That's just... Yeah. Definitely... Been feeling healthier since I moved out of that. You feel lucky you rarely need to go to the office? I haven't gone back to the office... ...for work. I've been to the office for other reasons, but not work. I haven't been back to the office for work since the day maybe almost four years ago. It would have been almost four years ago now. Where it was like, hey, um, so this COVID thing, uh, it looks like this is going to be a serious thing. So there might be lockdowns next week. We need a plan for this. And then the next day, <laughs> the lockdowns happened. So I haven't been back to work in an office since that day. I've been back to the office just sometimes um, we met up there to go eat and do something, but it was never to work. Um, remote work, yeah, I, just, I, don't, I, I can't go without it. it. This is the way. I know everyone's different, but I, I just find myself doing a lot more when I'm working remotely. company you work for is making people go to the office. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I mean, not to generalize, but that mentality generally comes from two people, two kinds of people, at least in what I've experienced is like, it comes from boomers that feel like, well, if people aren't supervised, they're not going to do their job. And it also comes from people that don't want to be at home and uh, for whatever reason, whether it's like they don't like working when their family's home or there's just some people that genuinely use work as like a, a social thing. Which, I mean, if you're using work as a social thing, you can still do that while working remote. Just go organize stuff outside of the scope of work. I think the problem is just there's a lot of circumstances where it's you hang out with people from work because you're there. But out if given the chance, like maybe you wouldn't if you're planning stuff. I don't know. It depends on your work environment. Like you can certainly be friends with your co-workers. But I guess I'm talking more in like the broader sense of those companies that are forcing people to go back to work. I don't know. I'm of the mindset that You can do basically everything remotely. There's certain circumstances, sure, where it's better to go to an office. But, I mean, the world shut down for a minimum of a year and everything was still functional. So that to me is like, well, this is more of a choice than actually saying the office is better. Where I worked, like, we kind of proved that, um, we do 
way more work working remotely. Like, it, it wasn't even a question. Just the amount of stuff we got done in that period was way more than anything else. Property lobbyist. Yeah, it might be a bit of that too. But I, I know some people that, like, just want to get away from their kids. And I also know some people that are kind of boomers in the sense that they just want to get away from their partner, which is not healthy. The old, like, making jokes about that sort of shit. I don't know. If it were up to me, it would be just a case of, well, work remotely, and then the money that you save on not having to rent an office, just spend that on your employees. Like, do retreats, do hangouts, and it'll probably cost less than what renting an expensive building in the city does. So that's generally speaking where, like, a lot of places rent here. Imagine having kids only to get away from them. Yeah, or like, getting married and then not liking the person. And just cracking jokes about it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I want to keep things lighthearted so I won't go down that path of conversation, but... You know, apologies if it, this may have been like a little on the negative side. Sometimes I just start talking and I forget, oh wait, let's try and keep the tone of it, like, more on the chill side. The freights are falling. Yeah. I mean... Again, not to touch that subject, but there's multiple good reasons why that's happening. And the people that are shrugging, going, wait, why? What, what's going on? It's just like, really, dude? <laughs> anyway, on a brighter note, let's, let's, I'll tell you a story. How about that? Yesterday, during work, I was just busy working on my stuff when, you know, through my headphones, listening music, I hear, some loud noise, and I'm like, what? No, whatever, I put my headphones back on, it stopped. Hear more loud noises again. Take my headphones off, look on the balcony, and there's just kind of a bunch of people chasing each other around. And I didn't think anything of it, it's just, you know, they left within a couple of minutes. So I was like, okay, maybe they're just like playing tag or dicking around or something, I don't know. So today I go get my, uh, my mail. I was expecting something. And as I'm walking to the mailbox, there's just... I can't really explain this without photos, but I don't want to put photos up. But... It looked like... <sighs> I'm convinced this is what happened. They were throwing chalk at each other. Because everywhere was just like, it looked like a war zone, like paintball, but it was definitely chalk. So they had thrown chalk at one another. And then um, the people that managed the properties, you know, they clean and do stuff. They had cleaned it already, but I guarantee they were throwing chalk at each other. And that's what they were doing. They were having a chalk war. Because just on the walls everywhere, just different colors on the ground. It looked like someone had a chalk shotgun for like some of the stuff that was on the wall. So, I that, don't that know how you uh, explain that one. Is there something that's going on that I'm unaware that might like warrant the whole, well, we're gonna fight each other with chalk? I 
I mean, uh, I'll clean this up. I'm just gonna get rid of all the flowers that aren't in locations. But uh, anyway, I'm looking at this chalk thing and a very Aussie neighbor just walked by and I was like, wow, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> it's like a very nasally voice. Just made me laugh. I think they were having a, I think someone was having a chalk fight. Bad income? Oh. <laughs> Just, uh. It's the start of the year as well. It would have made sense if it was at the end of the year where, like, people are graduating. So maybe they were just messing around or something. I don't know. Something about this area that's just, I guess, strange. I love how I took all that time to clean the beach and now I'm just making it messy again. But until I am like, okay, I'm done with public places, I'm not gonna remove too many things. Oh, hello. Okay. I'll use that chance to go turn on the lights as well. Uh, it's probably like not a big meteor shower. Maybe I'm wrong. What's that for? Five. Pretty excited to see like uh, the Elden Ring DLC. I did want to do a second playthrough of that game, but was waiting for the DLC. I guess it depends where it's set. It'll, it'll be interesting if it's either going to continue from where you left off, or if it's going to do something completely separate, where you start a new character. Find out later. That and whatever Nintendo has up their sleeve. Hey, Nikto, how's it going? Nikto, do you have a dryer? Random question. I need someone to say that they don't. I bet everyone has a fucking dryer and I'm like the caveman here. Uh, 
I might, I'll do some flowers on the beach. Just, they'll probably just be hyacinth. You have one, but you don't use it. I guess that counts? It, I guess it, de it depends on the reason as to why you don't use it. If you see it as like a, well, I don't see why it's necessary, then you're on the same boat as me. gonna be fun distributing all this stuff. As much as I want to use these, we're going to get rid of these. The cost. Okay. So you see it as a, as a luxury. It would fall into the category of like, that's something I can do without. The cost isn't worth it. <laughs> Tradition. kind of curious. I'm, I'm not sure if my parents have a dryer. I might have to check next time I go. That would be all the ultimate just amusing thing is just they have a dryer and I don't. And then I ask my mom why she has a dryer and they'd be like, wait, don't you have one? Why don't you have a dryer? This is someone that made fun of me for wanting to use a spatula to flip a tortilla instead of my bare fucking hands. What, like eight? Just used to using a clothes horse or hanging out washing. That's just like me. I'm just used to it. And the thought has never popped in my head to get one. And I guess now, even if I wanted to get one, it's just, yeah. It's a clothes horse. You don't have clothes horses in America. It's this horse that you train, right? No, I'm kidding. Metaphorical horse, not a literal horse. It's pro it's called something else, like... It's just a drying rack. I hear both here because our terminology here is like a mix of American and British. I'll get a dryer eventually. <laughs> Just probably won't happen for a while. I think a lot of people don't have them there because of space. Okay. I mean, here it's both a space issue and a I have a top loader issue. But also, until I'm settled into, like, the place where I think I'm gonna be in that place for a while, having another massive thing to lug around when you move, uh-uh. It's another factor. Who's crafting? No, someone crafting. 
I'm not even sure you can get top loaders there. Yeah. I mean, European style laundries are becoming more and more common here just because newer newer houses and apartments just don't have space anymore. It's like, I love how they came up with a terminology to just tell you that you have less space in your house. Oh, it's a uh, European style laundry. It's quite in vogue. It'll make you feel like you're in Paris or uh, London or perhaps Rome. You got to have a uh, European laundry. Uh. You have a top loader. Top. I, I don't know. I I could go with the front loader. I don't know if it would matter to me too much. But in the sense that it matters right now is just, I don't want to replace it when the thing's perfectly fine. Just to get a dryer. <laughs> it's all about marketing. It kind of is. Boomer marketing. European laundry instead of telling you you have a small laundry. The craziest one I've heard lately I've seen companies start using the word right-sizing instead of downsizing. It's just like, okay, man. Sure thing. Yeah, right-sizing. I've seen a couple of companies use that terminology when they're talking about letting people go lately I think even Twitch did it if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure Twitch did it and it made me laugh it's like okay man or one of the Amazon companies I can't remember Tube top, no. Damn. I just want to find it. Try it on the tube top. Um, good. Hold on. Yeah, Twitch said it. Twitch said right size. They're talking about right sizing the company. Yeah, I did remember correctly. But other companies have used that term as well. It's just something that has popped up lately. Is just marketing spin on, like, bad things. Alright, uh... Oh, you want to see the tube top? I'll put on the tube top. Was it everything you dreamed of and more? I need to go get a uh, yoga mat out. This one. The 
This is a small adjustment I'm gonna do. But I think it'll look nice. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> it might not look good. I reserve the right to change this back, but... Um... How long did it take to start getting villagers and they caught up my place? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, it looks bad. I thought it would look good with a map, but that being said, it might still look good with a map. I mean, you start off with two vill- you start off with two villagers. So you get two random villagers, and you all start off in tents. And then, from that moment, um, balloons will appear, I believe. Maybe you have to do, like, a couple of, uh... Housekeeping chores. I think it's like roughly after the first hour. It was a long time ago, but you, if I was to go back and look at the VOD, I'd give you a more accurate answer. But it doesn't take too long. I mean, I guess it depends your definition of long. You're six hours in, you have one store, one museum, piece of furniture for Dinkum. Yeah, the equivalent for Animal Crossing to get the store, I would have had that on day two, the museum day three. And we're talking like IRL days as well. Like, not in-game days. Like, at least Dinkum you have... You can progress time on your own. It's not real time. This is all real time. I'd say this takes longer to get started without time travel. Because you, you straight up have to wait for the next day. You know, like, let's say you get what's, requ you get what's required for the store. Which I think it's just, uh, like, uh, nuggets, iron nuggets, and uh, some wood. You collect those items, you give them to Tom Nook, and then he's like, okay, tomorrow the store will go up. And yeah, that means tomorrow. <laughs> so. It's different, it's just like the genre is what it is. It slows stuff down because it's just the style of the game. At a certain point, you can start buying plots for more villages. Yeah, you have to... I think when you build the campsite, you get one that you don't get to pick, and then after that, you can start buying plots. Animal Crossing is cuter. Oh, without question. Like, you, you can't beat the animals, right? It's not even a competition on that one. Um, but... Both games are pretty similar, it's just, I guess, Dinkum's more lenient in terms of time investment, because while six hours might seem like a lot, if you break break apart, like, all those things you got currently, that would probably be, like, a week worth of Animal Crossing. But on the flip side, it's a week of Animal Crossing, which might blend in a bit more. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's something you'd have to try out. But don't be surprised when it's... It's something that takes way longer. I mean, I, I like these games because... I just... I don't know. There's something about games that... You start off with basically nothing and then you work your way up to... Something more grand. And even if it takes a while... I don't know if it's just... right buttons in my brain, you know? That's what I want to see. This is something I am curious about. 
Yeah, I mean, that's the spirit of the game, is, like, the dude that designed the game originally, the design goal of the game was, like, a place where you can come to every day and things are just nice and slow. There's no stress and it's a place that makes you feel less lonely. That was the design goal of the game originally. So that's why the pacing of it is what it is. It's just the spirit of that. Dinkum is not chill. <laughs> I haven't seen much of it. But I guess being attacked by kangaroos probably doesn't help. Visa's depression. Yeah. Also helps you turn off your brain if you just think too much. Crocs and emus. <laughs> but I mean, in this game, you have spiders and scorpions. You have spiders, that, which I would imagine would be worse for you because you, you don't like spiders. And those fuckers chase you. Like, quickly. If you don't, if you're not lined up to catch them, they will 100% get you. There are spiders in Dinkum too. Do they run at the speed of light? Oh, man. Speaking of scorpions, I haven't seen one in a while. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've seen... ...when scorpions appear. But, uh, I mean, I find it funny, but I, I know people with the phobias would not like it. See how this looks. This is more of a curiosity thing. Okay. It doesn't look bad. I think I'd need to mask it a bit, but I, I could do it. Just get more of that uh, wheat field thing, and that would hide the seam. Should be able to hide it. Or even, hang on, even doing this would work. Like, putting it on half, but doing... Not that. Hopefully it allows it. Ugh. <laughs> One sec. Okay, yeah. No, that works better. So it, it does... It does seem to go okay. I mean, I don't know... how believable it is. Why did it do that? I'm trying to think of what else I could do to make this more believable, but it's kind of hard. I don't know, thoughts? Does it look bad? <laughs> On the one hand, I look at it sometimes and it's like, oh, this top part looks alright. But then looking at it this way, just... Hmm. Just think 
cooking. Okay, hold on. What if I was to... If there was green in between the slats, it might look better. Yeah, but I guess the thing that I wanted ugh, to capture was like there's water underneath. Let me try another idea. Yeah. Um, it would make this wider, but... Yeah, the problem is I can't edit the pattern. It's just, it's gonna be white because it treats transparent as white. It's kind of the same elsewhere, it's just... Sometimes you see it, other times you don't notice it. Um, I'm gonna see if maybe... Putting fencing. I need to make that other fencing here. I'll mess around with it. If I'm not happy with it, I'll just leave it. But I figured it was worth a try. Sometimes it is just about turning off your brain and just going, well, you know, this is a limitation, but. It's still... the intent is there. I just want something to draw attention away from it. I'm gonna see if putting this might might draw attention away from it. Let's see. If I do. Mm. I mean, if I stamped it with water, it might. Hard. Yeah, I'm gonna get all that shooting stuff. I think it'll only work if it's just using an entire Forming an entire lake using this. Let me, let me try it. Um, I'm gonna try put grass here. Assuming I have some, I should. I'm pretty sure I had, yeah, here we go. Um, I'll just get these out, it's fine. I mean, how well would this get masked if I do this? I don't like that I can't move them. <laughs> huh. It doesn't, it doesn't look... I'm not gonna say it looks good. It doesn't look horrible. Thought. 
this might be a way to completely hide it. It'll be less noticeable. Let's just do this. I might need more of them, but... That doesn't, that doesn't look too bad. You're going to sleep, you have to wake up in an hour and a half. Oh shit, get some sleep. Oh no, good luck. I mean, assuming you got something to do. I think if I'm drawing attention away, it might work out. Alright, I think now this is help this is helping. This is definitely helping mask it. This is definitely helping hide it, I think. It draws your eye away from it. At least, in my opinion, I don't know. <laughs> Feel free to say, nah, Will, you're out of your mind. This looks bad. You have good ideas, this is not one of them. back and forth between it. On the one hand, sometimes it looks good, and then sometimes it doesn't. It's just... I don't think what else I can do to this to make this seem more believable. some other things I can make now that I want to try and make. Wait, oh wow, it really uses 20 stone, that's a lot. I thought I could just <laughs> make a couple easily. strange but like if I get grass here again it should help mask it and then at least it's consistent
I think this is definitely something that I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna leave it, and then... When I come back to it, I wanna see how I feel about it. If... Just... If I did the right thing, I'll be like, yeah, okay, that looks fine. And if I didn't, I'll regret it. Immediately, I'll look at it and just, it'll stand out like a sore thumb. Oh, you can't customize these. Okay, well, I thought maybe you might be able to get, like, a different color. Maybe some moss on it. I don't know. Okay. Don't tell me these things aren't one by one. I think are they? Ah. Oh. But okay, if I take this away, <laughs> hold on. Put this here. I don't know if I'm ending up with something believable. I think ultimately... The rock is too dark. It might just be a lighting thing. I think strategically what I can do... Because the darkness grows, like it brings your eye, it draws attention, so I think in order to trick people into believing this, I'm going to put it here, and then put, like, I think it'll work. Light grey would look nicer, but I'm going to use this as a tactical thing, as draw your eye to the rock, so then you're not looking at the seam here. So then, I guess the illusion is just, you're looking at, your eye is focused on this, so then it, it seems to do it correctly. It looks like it's a waterfall. I just need more of these. Um, just to illustrate the point more, so I do have these. I don't mind taking away from, like, another build. Just going. Let's take these. I think this is all I need. I'll put them back. I'll make them all the same color. There is room. Stop lying. Oh, wait, that's Garden Rock. No, there is no room for that. I need one more, really? I guess I need one more. I might very well still change my mind. <laughs> just need to get it to a point where, like, I feel okay with it. I mean, let me look at. Uh, hold on. Because the other measure is over here. This one sells the illusion because 
I mean, it's, it's almost the same thing. It's just, why does this one sell the illusion more? I guess because there's no water tile underneath. And there's grass tile. Is that really all it is? Like, am I just overcomplicating this? another approach. I'm not 100% on this one, but give me a minute. And the other thing I was going to try... Actually, I guess at that point, if I'm doing... if I'm doing that... I know this is a lot of back and forth, but... There's a reason why the first one worked well. <laughs> Already looks better. Alright, fine. I concede. Ah. Uh, But I will still use the mats as bobbing up in that area. I think if I was using the water tile to make a large body of fake water, it would look good. But since I don't have that, it's kind of not necessary. I'm going to put these back where they were. There you go. Good enough. It's alright. Sometimes you have to test ideas out. I mean, I have one more bridge left, so I could just build a damn bridge, <laughs> but the thing is I could place stuff. I guess the reason I wouldn't do that is just make it look more, well, I guess older. I'm not sure they have a bridge that's very basic. I think most of them, they're, they look pretty well constructed. How do you make this one? I think it's just with us. D 
Oh, I have, like, grave. Multiple graves. Never gonna get that in time. Wrong one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Simple is the way to go. All right, all right, I'm convinced. Jeez. I mean, I guess there should be another one on the other side. It just means I have to increase it by one. Okay, I'll do that. But it does, it does look good. Again, I, I could have just built a bridge, but anyone can build a bridge. <laughs> I want to make a, quote, bridge. to say. That's just, it could have could have gone better, I guess. Alright, um. Well. This has kind of been a long time coming, but. This was here originally as a placeholder. Time has come to actually do something with this. That's gonna be annoying. <laughs> I have to get rid of that rock. I guess I kinda have to anyway, but alright. Let's just leave that aside. This uh, it can go. Uh, there's no reason for that to be there. Alright, so. The reason I'm ordering so many damn yoga mats. <laughs> That's pretty much because of this. Either way, this was always the plan. I just wanted to see if I could do like a cool bridge that works with this, but this also works. Because then I can have... Part of this was like I wanted floorboards to go in a different direction than what I had, and this just works on so many levels. It lets me have multiple directions, but then also just creative stuff we can do with it. Um, but see, now I'm gonna mess around with, like, slightly offsetting carving. So... Give me a minute. hard, because I can't just place this far on. It takes practice. Okay. Yeah? Oh, but it's facing the wrong direction. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. 
there we go. Okay. And I'll put one here, put one here. I'm gonna try and make it curve and come here. Picture in my head, we'll see if it works. And then I'll put flowers and stuff and whatever. I think it'll work. I think it'll look good. As for what to do up here, well... There's kind of a problem when you get to up here. I can't really make it turn easily. I'll figure it out. I think I know what I'm going to do. Um... Hmm. I'm not sure I can fix this. There's kind of curve there. I guess I would have to straighten out the line. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on. I hope I can do this, otherwise it kind of ruins the plan a little. I have to go for rounded corners. Okay. But I don't don't want it to I just want to add to it. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> good. It might seem so minor, but like I need I need this to be a thing. Um I just need that, I think. That can stay angled, and then the top one I'll straighten out. still done this incorrectly. Yeah. I think I've still done this. <laughs> still did this incorrectly. Hold on. I just need the slightest amount of extra room. Ugh. do it. It won't let me fill it in. Hmm. Or I trim away at it. I think I have to trim away at it. I have to make that a straight line. Okay, oh, thanks for the luck, full stop. Okay, there we go. I think I have to do the same for the other side, which might be a little bit of a hassle, but we'll see. Okay. So I want to make, like, an observatory deck sort of thing. So I think for this to work... Yeah, let's just trim one off the side, so then it's squared off, and then I gotta adjust the lake.
just need to think about how this path is going to work. I almost, it's almost like I need to bring this out. It's too narrow. Yeah. I don't think I can bring this out anymore. Because I think it'll get in the way of the tree. Now let's see. Yeah, too near to a tree. Well... What I can do... Whoops. Oh, might have been why. I have the wrong tool out. Yeah, this might work. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't work too close to a tree. Okay, but as long as the top part I can make a little bit wider, I look, it's fine. Let me just move some stuff. I'm just thinking ahead for what comes next. Because I didn't really have a plan for up here, and I should probably start thinking about that. Okay. I think this will work now. <laughs> uh, provided I don't make a hole in the middle for some reason. Okay. Game! There we go. Alright, so... Yeah, this is gonna be tough, but okay. Try and sell it. Alright. So this is the space I'm dealing with, roughly. I will probably have to get rid of these rocks. In some cereal. Oh, no a problem. Um, I'm just working on my island. Making things look nice. I was, uh, what was I doing? I was trying to make a fancy bridge, but I decided to simplify it. But then also I was, uh, redoing parts of my museum. And now I'm just planning out what I'm going to do up here. 
Which I'm just gonna put an observatory sort of thing. I'm just allocating the space now. Okay, when you have a vision, the terraforming doesn't go well. But yeah. This was more of a, I didn't have a vision for this, and now I have to work with the space that I have left. But the terraforming can be clunky sometimes. I think this should work. I won't be able to do all, all of this today, but... The general idea... I'm gonna need a lot of these maps, but... Just more or less continuing what I've done here. So what's the overall theme of the island? There is none. I've tried to give each villager something that fits into what they do. Or their character. And then the rest is just like, well, everything is pretty much on the fly based on whatever items I might have. Just day to day. I'm just doing what I feel like looks nice with what I have. I think it'd drive me crazy if I was going for a theme, having to hunt particular items to get the look I'm after. At least with this, it's just, okay, what have I got to work with? I'll, I'll work with this. Whoops. Yeah, good enough. Alright, um, I can place these back out. Can confirm the theme is Nazi doing forest core. Good luck. Yeah. Are you going for a particular flower arrangement with that? I don't think I'll ever try to get flower hybrids again after how long it took me this time. Hmm. What is this? I mean, like, uh, that is evenly spaced, but it's using an odd number. Maybe. I'll leave it like that for now. You're just using whatever flowers. Good choice. I decided to set up a villager that has every flower, and, uh, yeah. I'm playing it legit. <laughs> I was water watering them every day for, like, four, maybe five months to get the ones that I want. Yeah, they're all here. Oh yeah, right. I still gotta put... I gotta go get two blue roses. I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna do that now. Finish it off. Yeah, it'll be worth it overall. Like... The reason I'm playing this again is because the first time I played it in 2020, I just didn't really bother too much. I didn't get any flowers. I didn't really decorate that much. I did a little bit, but nothing like this. Because I am okay at this stuff. People wanted to see it. They were like, just play it again, but this time actually decorate it. Sure, whatever. <laughs> just... I say sure. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. It's almost done. I say almost, but it's probably like another month, and then I'm done. I'll share the dream once I'm done. 
All right, there we go. Yeah, that looks better. After like so many months. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if I'm gonna do it again, it would have to be something that I set up immediately. Whatever the next game is, I'm going to set up roses right away and just go for the hybrid blue and just have it be something that eventuates naturally and not be something that I'm aiming for constantly. Okay, I need food to get rid of some of these rocks that are in the way. You only have three blue roses, but they're from a friend that gave them to you. It's a good friend. <laughs> the, uh, the, pro the process I had to go through to get mine. Oh, man. I mean, to be fair, I probably could have asked someone for them, but I wanted to do it all myself. So then I can say I've done it. Next time, I won't be hesitant to, like, get someone to give me roses. But with this island in particular, I just wanted to get everything myself and not really rely on just anything other than what drops or happens. With the exception of the fruit. The fruit is just, well, you can't get all the fruit any other way. Wait, what am I looking for? Oh, right, I was going to eat coconut. You know what? I'll go with this. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, I guess all I heard from this island is, like, people that have watched this or check out the island get some form of inspiration from something. Like, I'm sure some of the stuff I've done has been done before, but then there's others where it's, like, probably not done as much. Oh, crap. I should have... Um, I can't clear this, can I? Okay, the only way I can clear it is lift a tree. I will lift a tree. I should have hit the rock first with the shovel before doing this. There we go. So, this rock can stay, this one's gotta go. Oops. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> I was about to hit that and just break it. Yeah, I've done it a couple of times as well. Just this time I I remembered before I hit that rock. Alright, so that's all good. And I just get more parving. Okay, let's continue. I'm just clearing old stuff up. This is all very placeholder to begin with. This one gonna work. Hmm. Alright, that's a problem for future me to worry about. 
What's the island's name? Uh, Shamblonia. That's just... I'll play on the last one. The last one I did was Shambleton. It's not very original. It's hard to come up with a name when you don't really have a plan on what you're going to do with it. If I had called it something like Fire Island and then there's no fire on the island. First island was named Dreamland. Did uh, did it have any connection to like Kirby? Sometimes it's just a name is a name. <laughs> you do your best. I put this here in case I wanted to craft bait. That's never eventuated, so that's disappearing. You'd never played Kirby at that point, but it was like a dream to you. To pretend to be on the island. Ah, I gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, well, this is loosely in a. I'm just looking at this. Because this is going to come down and it should meet up with this. That'll be fine. And this... Yeah, it should be okay. Which, I guess, if I'm mirroring, this should be a hedge as well. Okay, I know how I'm going to do this. This is going to get moved anyway, so I'm just going to take from here. these things now before I forget
Wait, what was it called? I thought it was called Flower Partition, but it's not. It's... I got one in storage, I think. But I need more of them. I should have one spare. Oh no, but it cha oh yeah, yeah, I remember what I did. I changed it so then, at the theater. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna have to go pick it up and see what it's called. I'm just bad with names. I probably should've grabbed these ones. Plant partition, damn it. <laughs> that was close. Yep, yeah, there it is. We got these. Definitely want to do more with this stuff, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of them. But yeah, the idea is just to put one here, put one here, and then kind of fill in the gaps with other stuff to form like a wall between these to so then kind of just walk up here and yeah that's just that I don't know keep it simple <laughs> I don't think I could do much else up here I think I will Yeah, it should look nice. At least the, the thing I'm imagining pans out. Uh, I'm gonna try one thing. I wanna see how this fencing looks. Cause I haven't used this anywhere. It might look nice. Can it be customized into different colors of wood? It cannot, okay. Could customize it. Can he? I mean, I could go have a look. I thought with a lot of this stuff, the options are, or well, at least the stuff that you craft, it's set in stone. Hmm. This is why simple panel is just so invaluable because you can't place this along the edge and it just looks wrong. I'm just going to have to go with short simple panels. They're going to look better. As much as I don't want to overuse them, it's just... 
It just doesn't look right. Um, now that I see this as well. That should be straight. That'll look better. Okay. I won't be able to realize this idea today. I mean, I think a lot of today is just cleaning up. I may need to go a few days without playing this again, so then I order just a bunch of yoga mats, because otherwise it's just start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And then once I have, I don't know, like 30 or so, then I should be able to just lay this out. I'll probably have to do that. Alright, but for now, I'm gonna continue with the plan I had. It's a very annoying plan, but I figured if I went to the effort of getting all these flowers, I'm going to use them, so. I'm gonna make it so the flowers that go around the island are the three most difficult flowers for me to get. And then the villager houses and places of business and all that, they're the ones that are gonna have, like, all the others. So then, yeah, as you're walking around, the stuff that's just in nature is just going to be three colors. Three flowers. I forgot to put the fence back. Do I still have it? No. I got to get it. Yeah, I'm going to be lazy again. Oh crap, this beach is full. Right. <laughs> I mean, I could probably get rid of some of these flowers. I'm just hesitant to do so until I am convinced that I'm not going to use them. Some of them are just a pain to get. Alright, I guess start stacking them on this beach here. Yeah, this beach is empty. Alright. Pile them up. some of those green ones as well, just so I can keep growing more. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to play something here. I might just so then there's no weeds that grow.
that includes these ones as well. I mean, <laughs> I might get rid of this. This had a purpose once upon a time, but it doesn't anymore. A split waterfall I might keep, but like this... Uh, I mean, I guess it adds character, even if it's not fully usable. The thing is, I know that ultimately I'm only going to use a small amount of the ones here, but what if I change my mind? I've rebuilt several things. Going to head out. Alright, no worries, full stop. Well, thanks for uh, popping in. Watch it stop now. Oh. Well, I don't think I've gotten what I need out of this, so let's just... Whilst it's going crazy. In fact, I haven't done the thumbnail. We'll make it like a bait. <laughs> it's not actually what I'm working on. There we go. That makes it easier for later. I gotta go fix that mermaid fence. I'm happy this is here. <laughs> this means I can cut across. I will say it is it is nice to have that now.
There we go. Uh, I don't think I've watered these either. I have not. Alright, do it. I want more. <laughs> Gonna need way more than this. At least now I have a field of them, so it's, it's not bad. They'll duplicate easily. Well, since I am cleaning up around the place, I think these can go. Like, I, I'm not going to put them in a garden anywhere, so I'm just going to get rid of them. They're gone. Also, this. This one just maybe as like a little decorative nod, just put it here. Alright, uh, where else are there flowers to get rid of? Oh. Well, the museum ones can. Uh, I'm kind of torn. I can keep the museum ones as is, or just go with the consistent theme. Where the museum is just going to be how everything else is. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning more towards just getting rid of these. Alright, I'll do it. Everything will be for the better. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Just looking at this as well. table. Oh, it's just that. Here I'm still on the fence about it. Whether I should peep this or change it. Still deciding. I'm 
gonna move some of these. Just so then I can grow more. So, let's pick at him. I'll go distribute them around the place. Probably need a watering can as well. I got the feeling it's gonna break. I haven't made the purple ones yet, because there's not enough of them. Um, but, as general planning goes, this, and this. Okay, this one has to go. And instead, be replaced with this. Yeah, this is definitely going to take a while. Okay, one here. Actually, no, leave that one be. I need to make sure that in front of these trees...
This will definitely take a little while longer, but I think it'll be worth it overall. I mean, that's very quick how... Okay, I will probably swap the purple out for another purple. What's not the purple? Tulips? There's an optimization I can make. Anywhere where there's those purple flowers. Just that, I think. I know there's some here. Alright, cool. This is why I didn't get rid of them. Oops. Going to make those three flowers unique. Oh crap, I have some more I have some more here. Okay, I need to move these to grow others. It's alright, this is before I kinda of started the plan. Oh yeah, I also have purple. I sent as well. Okay, I mean, there's, there's room. Okay, so what? This uses Pansy. I mean, let's just get rid of that. I don't know if I have any other purple Pansy. So this has to be adjusted. This is where I'm going to make the adjustments now. So this needs to be this. Keep the blue on for now. This needs to be this. So what colors have I got here? Okay. So that comes that. And now I need to swap this out for blue. I just want to keep it consistent.
I mean, this isn't consistent, so. I think it's because I didn't have the pansies before that I didn't line it up like that. system. houses I'm not going to be too pedantic about it. Okay, so this is just going to get replaced with a tulip. Or... Hang on, what flowers have I got? No, it has to be a mum, because I've already got a tulip. Never mind, go back. Laziness, plant this. Okay, there's still more to lift here. Is that a bit? Ah. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, good. I thought it was gonna disappear. It's fine. Okay, 
Well, this will hopefully speed up the growing process here. But this one should probably split it. I don't know. Let's see. I'll just cover it as much as I can. It's real estate at the end of the day. It still works. Alright. Happen. That's why I bought a second one. done. I mean, I guess I may as well water these ones. It's, they're on their own, but you never know, they could duplicate. If they do, it just means it's one more to work with. It's not going to do anything. This one might. Star still. Now it does it. Ooh, the drink fountain. Forgot to put it back. Here, right? Let's go. Okay. 
Last thing to do is just get rid of these pumpkins. anything with them. It's fine. Ah, cool. I just have to stock up on mats. <laughs> I mean, maybe I can calculate how many I'll need, at least for that upper part. I need short, simple panels as well, not just that. I mean, I want to say at least 30. It's like at least 6 here. 12. Let's say 12. Yeah, it's gonna it's going to need like about 30 to do everything. Just for this area. Um It's okay. Alright, so let me do something for consistency. I'm not gonna go into island build to, to do this. There we go. I mean, maybe the other one, hang on. This one. Ah, that's better. I think I'm happy with this now. <laughs> it's just... As much as I messed around with it, it was fun to mess around with it. This was the right call. I guess it's not too hard to imagine what I would do with this. I think it would have to be like one, two, three, and then it kind of comes out that way. Getting there. Alright. Well, that's good enough for now. I can't really think of much else to do without, uh, having the mats. I need- I need mats. I am gonna be moving that little park, so maybe that'll be something to do. But hopefully you can see what I'm getting at. Alright, well that's gonna do it for Animal Crossing for... Today. Uh, hope you enjoyed. So, I am gonna swap games now, but before I do, I'm gonna take a short intermission. But, uh, yeah, if you're checking this out later as a replay on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and hope you've been enjoying me doing things in Animal Crossing. If you do want to support any other content over there, the easiest way to do so is just click the like button, subscribe, or you can also click one of the videos that pop up. Any of that stuff does help the channel out quite a bit, so yeah, thank you to those that do do that. It does mean a lot. 